What up, y'all? TC Fagel guy. We got ourselves a package today. I'm not gonna play stupid like I don't know what it is. I know what it is. And I'm not gonna sit here and try to make you guys try to guess what it is. I'm just gonna title the video what it is. This is Chris Calico's new album. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I got the skizzers here ready. Um, this package, long overdue. Like, really long overdue. I have needed to be fucking with Chris Calico for a long time. I've been listening to Tech 9 since 2008 myself. And uh, a lot of the songs that I like of Tech 9s, they have Chris Calico singing on it. And I absolutely think he's great at singing. Like, um, Stay Away From Me. Uh, Leave Me Alone, I, I guess I should say, is the name of the song off of KOD. One of my absolute favorites of Tech 9s, Chris Calico singing on the hook. And it's like, I've never been fucking with, uh, with Chris Calico. I haven't been fucking with Chris Calico long enough. Um, <coughs> a lot of it is, I, I would listen to Vitilago. I had it in my head that if I was going to check out Chris Calico, I needed to start at the beginning. So I'd always listen to Vitilago, and it never clicked with me. So I would just stop. I never checked out any of this shit. Well, you know, when everything happened that happened last year with him not re-signing his contract with Strange, his merch... And all that being taken off of the website. The second all that was resolved and his merch was back, I was like, we're just going to buy all of his albums. And I did. And I basically forced myself to listen to his albums, starting at Vitiligo again. Um, at that point, I had found the formula is just play it in my car when I'm driving around. I play Pokemon Go a lot. So I, I made it a point to just have the music playing while I'm out driving around playing Pokemon Go. And a lot of his shit after Vitiligo has clicked really hard with me. So it was like, i had been sleeping on Chris Calico all these years, not supporting him like I should be. I mean, like I said, I've been saying a lot of the songs that him and Tech have done together. Uh, beautiful music off of Welcome to Strangeland. Another great one where he sings his ass off on the hook. I'm like, you know, I haven't been supporting Chris Calico properly. So this album has been super duper long overdue. I can finally say that I've bought a Chris Calico album. I pre-ordered one and I got it on the release date or before the release date. It's actually the day before. It's actually 1.41 in the afternoon right now. I know my lighting doesn't make it seem like it is, but the curtains in the office are fucking amazing. It makes the room dark, which is great because when the time comes to have these bad boys hung up on the wall right here next to me, I can make a lot of videos with the black light on in the middle of the day. I don't have to rely on a certain time of day to do videos with that kind of a background. Uh, but anyways, let's get back to what we're talking about. It's one o'clock in the afternoon, so I do have the album the day before it actually comes out. So of course it comes with a signed copy of the insert or of the book. I'm actually waiting to pre-order Ritz's album because it says it's autographed. And you guys know me, if you know me, I don't like autographs. I don't like my artwork. You know, uh, I don't know the word. I'm, I wanted to say defame, but it's not defame. You know what I mean? I don't want autographs over the artwork, you know? Artwork is, is a big deal for me. So, you know, to have this, not have the autograph on it, and to actually have this, I'm going to assume that Ritz's new album, Picture Perfect, is going to be a digipack, just like uh, Put a Crown on it was. They've been sending these decals, or these stickers, for a while now, and I'm not a big fan of these ones. I wish they'd go back to the old school decals, because I actually had to recently buy new decals from a car. I haven't put them on my car yet. But, of course, the pre-orders always come with a t-shirt that, of course, is an extra large, and I wear at least a 3X. So, there's another shirt that I can't wear, but that's okay, because Megs actually does tie-dye now. And all of the Tech 9 shirts that I've had that I could not wear, she actually tie-dyed them, sold them on eBay, which I think is dope. She's got one Tech 9 shirt left. I probably could dig that out and show you guys. I'm fuck it. This is about Chris Calico. But um she's been she's been tie-dying these shirts and actually managing to sell them. So that's I think that's really cool. Repurposes these, so that's another reason why I went ahead and picked up the pre-order. Here lately I've been trying not to get pre-orders because I don't need any more damn shirts I can't wear. But as long as Megs is still tie-dyeing, I will continue to do pre-order packages. So, I just wanted to make this video just unboxing this because I feel like I owed Chris Calico support for so long. And, and now I can finally say that I am supporting him. Like I said, I bought his albums last year, but I bought them during the Strange Music Sale because 
let's just face it, Strange Music, I feel, charges a lot for, for albums. So if you're going to buy a large quantity of CDs to get your collection stocked up, definitely got to hit the sales. That's what I'm going to be doing this year, uh, this November. Stevie Stone and Cut Calhoun. Cut Calhoun, another one that I've been sleeping on. Really Stevie Stone as well because he's been signed since like 2012. So, um, but yeah, I feel like I'm fucking clusterfuck during this video, guys. It's been a while. It's been a while. But yeah, I, I've been I've been needing to support Chris Calico. Proud to say I finally am. So that's what we unboxed. I got to go get it uploaded so we can give it a real good listen. And uh, I need to start getting shit ready for reviews. I, I got to figure out my setup of how I want to do reviews at the new office. But anyway, that is Chris Calico's legend unboxing stick uh stick around stay tuned for the review coming hopefully soon i'm hoping it won't be uh too long before i get set, something set up anyway thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time bah! there you go that's the tie-dye this it's actually not a tech night shirt it's the it's the one i got for pre-ordering ubi's ubiquitous's album last year so that's the tie-dye that's the tie-dye if you even cared if you even cared. You probably didn't even care, but there you go. That's the tie-dye. Bye.